What is up guys, it is Fern here and today we bring you a review of the game Sports Bar VR. And so this game, you can already see they've added some buildings and there's obviously the bar that's all lit up, everything else is asleep, but this bar is open. Alright, so we are right handed, so we're going to select that, we are currently standing. We've done the height setup, and uh, we're good, so now you have to step inside that, hold the T button down. Headset inside there and hold the T button down to game. <sighs> and now you're magically in a sports bar. That is not another person, that is an AI. I don't know why this is shaking around so much. So basically, the way this game works is obviously you can't, it's not a room scale VR game. Uh, None of the PSVR games are room scale. They're all just standing. So it uses a teleport method where if you hold, hit the square button on your move controller, you can teleport. And obviously, if I turn around, because there's only one camera, my tracking gets all messed up. So the way they figured this is if you click both of the, like, the middle buttons right here, right here you have something called Hulk mode. And you can, I, the way you turn 180 is you cross your arms. Or you can just turn 90 by going like that. Takes some getting used to, but it is very good. So obviously, yes, they have air hockey. You grab that. Oh god, I'm playing against someone right now. That's a that's a score. Oh, missed that. Oh, fern. Oh, how could I do that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Close. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, this is hard. Oh my god, I'm terrible. First goal was just a fluke. Oh, never mind. We got it. Hey, you, you fooled yourself. And as you can see, the tracking is very good. On this, I'm moving it around and it is being extremely responsive. Oh, oh, what a hit. Oh no. Alright, so basically that is the the game. And now where are we gonna go? Let's go to let's go to darts. Alright, so this is darts, and as you can see on my controller I hit circle and darts will appear. Alright, so then you can either go like this. Hold it, you have to keep holding down this T button right here, the trigger. You can either just throw it naturally, which is hard, very hard. Like, let's do three naturally. Ugh. All right, so I scored nine points naturally. Or you can hold it up to where you want to, so you can like aim it. And on the other controller, you hit T, and it locks it. You just pull back, and it hit off something. So let's do that again. So... Hold it with this controller, T on the other controller. And that's a 9 already. Now let's try to go for a bullseye. Nah, we got 1. Alright, so we did one point better. Alright, so that's basically darts. And, um, you can go to ski ball on this. And, oh, this one's kind of hard. Roll it up. Okay, I put a bit more power onto that. Got 10 points. That's garbage. What is it doing? This is definitely the replay factor on this game. It's extremely high, and I come back to this quite a lot. Come here. This is just such a fun game, and I'll show you after the multiplayer in it. Uh, after I show you all the games. You can also just, yeah, chuck them at the... Alright, so that's Skee-Ball. That's all it is. Um, I believe this game's called Shuffleboard. But yeah, you click that, and you can just... 
Oh, that's garbage. No. Okay. Or you can just like pick it up and just like throw it across the room. And um, they can pick up toys. And what, what you saw come out of my gun there, it's a laser pointer. Say something's like decently far away. Just go like that and then throw it across the damn room. Uh, they got like little mini, mini things. Just uh, knock over the dominoes. Oh god, the tracking. Go to your jukebox, pick up your jukebox, throw that across the room because you know why not. You can uh, get off my table. <laughs> Uh, and then Hulk mode will rotate me 180. Uh, Alright, now I gotta show you guys the toys. So the toys you spawn, you hit menu button. And this is the main menu, so I can hit customize. And I can spawn many different toys. You can unlock different cues and hats. Personally, my favorite being the gun. Oh, what did I just teleport to? So then you take that out. And you hit circle to activate it, and you can just shoot everyone. You can shoot the headset, and let's, uh, let's actually go over here and uh, Hulk mode around. Shoot him in the face, he's got a cowboy hat on. You can spam the trigger as fast as you want, so. You can hear my controller vibrating on my desk. And yeah, the controller does vibe. You, you can hear my controller already. Alright, and uh, then you can also do some little glitches, teleport into a wall. So I know for one thing, you can... Uh, it Let's place them down can we can we stack them no as far as it didn't break the tracking is great in this game you just have to kind of what right there we can do it a lot easier like this I don't know which way am I facing. I'm facing that way. That's why. That's why the tracking's a little off. Turn me around. Turn me this way. There we go. All right. No. 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 All right. You're gone. What is? All right. There. Come here. I'm going to pick up your gun. Pick up your gun. Activate it. Go across the bar. Hulk mode to it. Ugh. And. Target practice. Dude, I don't think I'm going to I just like trigger fingering it. quality trigger finger all right now all right Ugh. all right so now you can hop if you hit main menu close what if we hit main menu you can click multiplayer quick match join the match you can move that around all you want you can just fling it around or you can hit uh, right in your face like, okay, and now it teleports you. So you see loading screen. See it's gone. You can get paddles. You can get. I assume it's a bowling ball. But now I can hit this player list. I'm in a game with someone. Scooby Scotty. He's a level six. I'm only a level three. I don't play this game a ton. Just doing a quick review on it because I think it has one of the best replay factors ever. 
So he's playing, I assume that's him. Is that him? And that's Scooby Scott, he's the host of the game. To wave to him, probably way back. Dab on it. We dab, he'll dab back. Hey, <laughs> see, it's why well, you gotta love this game. So now we can go over here. Just, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the hands. Just celebrate a little. Uh, you could literally, it's just a, a sandbox for a, a bar. There's little TVs everywhere. And if you can do challenges too, like I'll show you guys this challenge. You can do challenges. So the Dars challenge. Choose a game and you win gets a reward. So you can do 101, 301, 501. Obviously you need to know what darts are to do those. So basically look it up I guess. But uh yeah. So it went a bit longer than I expected it to. You can also go behind the bar. But uh yeah, guys, this is uh, my review of Sports Bar VR, and it's a little pump right here. And hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, thank you.